Hello friends, and welcome to today's episode. This new dad didn't expect to find an act of kindness where he did. It's hard to be a new parent. When you're a new parent and you have to fly with your baby, it can be the most stressful thing ever. But trying to get your child home as a new parent in a strange country is one of the most stressful things we can think of. Even more so when you can't get on the plane because you don't have a car. That's what happened in 2018 when Ruben Swift went to Phoenix to pick up his new baby girl, Ru Andrea. CBS News says that Ru Andrea's new dad had just gotten control of her and was getting ready to fly home with her to Cleveland. But when he got to Frontier Airlines, they told him that they couldn't fly together. The airline's rules say that babies less than seven days old can't fly. Swift had a note from the hospital saying that Ru Andrea was ready to fly, but she couldn't because Frontier didn't want to take a chance on putting a four-day-old baby on board. That left Swift with his new daughter for three days with nowhere to go. So, he called the only person in the area he could think of, a woman named Joy Ringifer, who volunteers at the Banner University Medical Center, where Ru Andrea was born. I was rocking her when her father came in, and it was like we already knew each other, Ringifer told the newspaper. As soon as Swift left the airport, he called Ringifer for help. She told him and Rue Andrea that she was coming right away to get them, which took him by surprise. I'm wondering, will she drive me back to Cleveland? But she actually took me to her house, fed me, and made sure my baby was okay, Swift said. Ringifer also made sure that the family had somewhere to stay and food to eat until they could fly home. I had such a strong feeling that I needed to do this for him, Ringifer said. I know he was kind and safe to have in my home, and he has been a perfect gentleman. Swift flew home three days later, but he promised to come back and see him. After all, this kind woman took him and his baby in without even knowing them very well. It warmed his heart and made him feel better to know that people are still good. We are different races, but when she opened her door, it was never a problem. My skin color never came up, Swift said. She loves my baby, and my baby spent the whole night with her. She went to bed with her. He asked, who does that? She gave me food and cared for me. She is now my child's grandma. She took care of me. I appreciate it. Who knows where Swift and the baby would have gone for those few days if Ringifer hadn't offered her house. They might have found a hotel or rented a car and started the 30-hour trip back to Cleveland. We hoped that it would have turned out okay. But because a stranger was kind and went with her gut, things turned out so much better than anyone could have hoped. It's a great example of how, sometimes, the best way to help other people is to go with your gut. That could mean reaching out if a friend or family member seems off, or it could mean giving money to a stranger on the street. It can also mean something bigger, like what Ringifer did for Swift and his daughter. People who are down on their luck often have good qualities. But if you open your heart to them and find a way to help them, you might find a strong new link between the two of you. That's it for today friends. Please let us know what you think about this story, thank you for watching, and we'll see you soon for more amazing stories.